Here you go. This is now the only lab with glassware washed by a man with two doctorates and a restraining order signed by Carl Sagan. <laughs> Soap spots, wash them again. Yeah. You're being ridiculous. Those are perfectly clean. Sheldon, this beaker used to contain cerebral spinal fluid from an elephant that died of syphilis. If it's in fact perfectly clean, drink from it. <laughs> Biologists are mean. <laughs> All right, perhaps this task will be a little bit more up your alley. I need you to count the bacteria spores on these petri dishes. Yeah, there was something wrong with that detergent. That was way too bubbly. <laughs> I'm sure it was. I intend to write that soap company a strongly worded letter. Yeah, good for you. Now, start counting. You know what this place needs? A suggestion box. <laughs> 366, 367. How's it going? How's counting going? When I was in kindergarten, I recited pie to a thousand places for the school talent show. I think I got this. Great. Aw, oh, nuts. <laughs> One. This is preposterous. I think you're giving me these tasks because you're afraid if you give me anything meaningful to do, I'll show you up. Really? Is that what you think? Yes, that's what I think. And I'm super smart, so it's probably true. Hey, I've been training in the field of neurobiology for 12 years. You've been here for three hours and you spent one of them in the bathroom. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. It takes me a while to get things going on an unfamiliar toilet. Sheldon, I've given you the simplest things to do and you haven't done one of them right. Maybe that's because I'm not being challenged. It's the same reason Einstein failed math. Yeah, maybe the math was too bubbly for him. You think you're doing science by cutting up that brain? They could do the same thing at any Quiznos. And they'd offer to toast it for me, too. Okay, smart guy. I'm about to remove the locus ceruleus, which is incredibly delicate work. Have at it. All right. I'm no stranger to a little gray matter. <laughs> locus ceruleus. <laughs> Locus Cerulius. You're getting warmer. It is indeed in the brain. Hope your hands are steady. It's the width of a single hair. But this is just biology, so I'm sure it's no problem for a genius like you. It's not. I'll have you know that in the field of physics, we work with particles so small, they make fat jokes about the Locus Cerulius. <laughs> I.e., when your Locus Cerulius sits around the house, it sits around the house. Are we nervous, Dr. Cooper? No. What you see is a man trembling with confidence. <laughs> does the locus ceruleus normally bleed that much? No, but your thumb does. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, you're a biologist. <laughs>